Well, I am assuming you're here right after the uh, the first VOD came out, right? I hope so. If not, well, I recommend if you just want the TLDR, I got you in the first VOD, okay? But welcome to the more in-depth version of the FGO JP Lottery event, Battle in New York 2022 Space Odysseus versus Nikola Tesla. Now, this will be in-depth version. One more time, one TLDR. There's a VOD already there below. So let us start. Uh, essentially, this is about how um, continuation of Space Ishtar. Um, however, it has nothing to do with Space Ishtar, but it does take place in the Servant Universe era. So essentially, think of um, this entire event as a OVA off the record uh, Saber Wars 6. So it is a couple chapters after Saber Wars 2 and Saber Wars 1, of course. Uh, it's a big fucking meme of Star Wars. You know how it is. Uh, so this will be the off topic one. So uh, um, off agenda OVA, uh, it's the Bungai Hang, AKA it is not, it, you won't see it in the canonical. So it's not Saber Wars 3, right? So let us continue. Uh, this is a lotto, you know how it is. Uh, it starts with Gil trying to bust out an event, gets interrupted by Space Odysseus. Two Gills, both space and non-space, kind of just bro hand each other real quick and says, I'm the best one and I'm gonna show you that I'm the best. Therefore, I'm going to do a lotto slash tournament. So here it is, uh, collect your tickets, uh, get your mats, get your good stuff today you know how it'd be uh it's like i said this is the third um gill fest so i don't have to explain it too much i hope not this is however lb1 locked so if new players are wondering why you can't go in it is lost belt locked it is very important that a lot of people miss on this it is lb1 locked so be careful on that uh, but yeah, by getting the Helena CE, you're going to get more tickets. So I highly recommend you get mats, collect the CE, and then start farming that CE for lotto action. By collecting cosmic medallions, you'll be able to get command cards, keys, and removers. Doing exhibition quests and Tesla cup, you'll be able to get so much more mats. Delicious ones, none other than that. Uh, the tournament's going to be in three different sections. First league is going to be about three to four days, which is from the 16th to the 20th. That's where we are at at the moment. There's going to be a second league that's going to be 20th to the 25th. And then the fifth, uh, third league, which is the 25th to the 30th. The event will end exactly on March 30th. So it's going to take the whole two weeks. However, as a reminder, March 27th, Sunday, JP time is going to be a live stream. So don't miss out on that. That will, um, whatchamacallit, that'll talk about more of the collab possibility events that's coming near us, for sure. Uh, so don't forget e spaghetti. This one is our first contestants. These are gonna be your last boss from the easiest to the hardest. Uh, yes, VR Toboe is by herself, so uh, do be careful, uh, even though there might be ads. Uh, it's uh, pretty easy, simple. Uh, they are leveled range from 70 to 90 plus. And yes, you do get a 90 plus right off the bat. So no problemos really is up to you. My recommendation is if you can do 90 plus, do 90 plus until you've got all the CEs at least, and then do tickets or um, do all the CE, uh, do 90 plus, clear the store. After you cleared the store and got everything, just ticket it in. Uh, some people would say do 90 plus and then go to 90 for just tickets. That's perfectly, uh, perfectly good idea, right? If you need more QP, go 90 plus. If you just go ticket, I believe it is uh, better to just get tickets. It just really depends, right? Because 90 plus drops a lot of stuff. Therefore, there's a possibility for more ticket drop. However, the you will get more mats than just ticket drop. So some people would say the 90 is the best ticket node which i do agree because it's easier because it's a 333 90 percent of the time uh versus the 90 plus which is almost never 333. Uh, exhibition quest 
So any quest that you've done, or if you've done any of the exhibition quests from uh, Guildfest 1, Guildfest 2, um, those two are coming back again. So you can just replay them real quick, um, get your mats and call it a day. No problem. Just understand the classic. It is a challenge quest, no continuing. Can't use the same servant. Um, it opens up every day. Uh, this one, it everything has a guide for it. So I highly recommend it if you want to go easy mode and concentrate on lottering, just go balls deep on that guide. Uh, if you want me to give you some guides slash tips and tricks, uh, I can give you guys a guide, tips and tricks on these challenge quests. I uh, just, you know, type it in comments, type it in Twitter, Discord, let me know and uh, I'll do some. Uh, and then we got ourselves this year's challenge quest. This year's challenge quest is Tesla Cup. Tesla Cup is going to be the seven new challenge quests that have appeared in the past. So it is weird. It's technically a new challenge quest, but from the oldest challenge quest in the game, meaning that we're talking about the very first summer uh, challenge quest with these like crabs with super thick shields that you had to play big brain around. Some stuff like that had to uh, come about, um, but they made it even spicier. So. After you've gotten that finished, so if you were to put, um, for instance, Arash, um, Merlin, and then let's put Serenity, right? Just for uh, shits and giggles here. Once you've used that in this challenge quest, the servant that I just mentioned, like Merlin, Serenity, and Arash, cannot be used in the any other challenge quest. And in order for you to complete all seven challenge quests, you must unlock the seventh one by completing one through six without breaking the reset button, which is kind of wild, right? It's kind of wild. So it's one of those things that it is a simpler concept because it was such a, you know, uh, it was such a strong challenge quest back then. Now it's not too bad. However, the additional handicap of only able to use one servant per challenge quest within six uh, kind of spice up the table a lot. But once you clear it, you're going to get yourself Matt, including lore at the seventh one. You can reset it. However, do be careful. Like I've told you before, um, you're going to need to clear all six in order for you to unlock seven, then beat the seventh one. Then you can systematically reset them to get all your servants back for part two. So in order for you to get the seventh node, you have to not reset your servants until you clear the seventh node. I've tried it, I tried to, uh, I beat it, I removed it, and I tried another quest to try to cheese it with the same comp. It did not work. It worked in beating the enemy, however, it did not work in the gimmick wise because now I have to do the crabs again in order for me to um, set the servants on lock to count it as a clear. It's easier, uh, it's pretty simple if you wanna do the challenge quest. Uh, simple as pie is just bring craft essence. The 100% damage to 200% damage uh, definitely will help you out in this event, surely, so no problem, right? Um, people who are going to be using uh, these things right there, uh, these things, these things, all these people are good supports to have. Uh, yes, like Chen, Shakespeare, Amadeus, uh, Bunyan, Shu Ten, um, your girl Matahari, like anything works. Uh, simultaneously, do not sleep on Anderson. There's no Anderson there for some odd reason, but Anderson's pretty good. Uh, mole, whatnot, da 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 da. Just have fun, do your very best. If you say fuck it, um, you can get just the mats. Uh, one through six, you will not be able to unlock the seventh one, but you can go through one through six with the same comp. You just can't unlock the seventh one to get the lore. Uh, you are warned if you want the lore, uh, you better play smart a couple steps ahead, meaning that you better use the shittiest ones 
uh, first, then balls deep on the last one. All right, ticket wise, Matt, uh, you're going to get the following. You're going to get yourself the medallion. You're going to get yourself the arrow. Uh, you're going to get yourself the lantern, bullet. Sadly, hero's proof, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's one of those little basic bullshit that you're going to have to keep up with. And I think there's going to be a couple of warrior servants slash knight servants that's coming in soon that will eat up a couple thousand on a snap. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Think of it as an opportunity to uh, heavily reinvest uh, so you can restock up on it. Uh, perfect. Uh, it, it is a shame you don't get a uh, five star CE on this. Uh, because as a Morgan level uh, 109 about to hit 1010, uh, I need five star. See, I need five star EXP. Oh my lord, Lord have mercy! I just, I need more EXP. <laughs> Not enough EXP whatsoever to level one her. So uh, it's also nice. Like I said, if you need gems, now's your time that you can collect gems. Um, you will get bronze. You will get apple. You get your gold uh, up to ten. Remember. From 11 and onwards, you will only receive bronze apples, so be careful on that. And farm hard, because it's going to be quite delicious. All right. Uh, remember, you can do 100 openings after the 10th box, okay? So from 11 and onwards, if you have more than 100 bucks, you can one-shot the box, uh, which is nice. Lineup is as follows. You can get the five star damage CE on the lotto, which is late uh, check lady lore and then Vokun all HP. I don't know where the attack went, most likely in the shop, but it is what it is. Speaking of shop, this is what you will get in the shop here. Babushki, uh, you're going to get the cosmic medallion, the CCs. I'll explain the CCs very soon, uh, but yeah, you get yourself CC cards and lore. Uh, Meteor Burger allows you to get a uh, costume uh, for uh, Odysseus, uh, which is, you know, 200. You're going to need about 3,600 to completely finish it. But I highly recommend just collecting 400 first to just get more tickets. Uh, Galaxy Hot Dog, same thing. Collect tickets as uh, best as you can. But boom, bells, eyes, and scales. Mm -mm -mm, delicious, baby. And ooh, a little bit of cerebral and then uh, balls and then steak. Really nice stuff. 2,500, 2,800, 3,600. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Farm it out, you're good to go. Uh, bonuses. Check Lady, aka Double Gilgamesh, is a damage CE Cosmo uh, High School. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, yeah, Cosmo uh, Cutterdea High School, right, uh, is going to be a ticket drop. Uh, it is a very cute Helena, so make sure you uh, get them. Uh, the gold CE is going to be Galaxy Keraunos, aka Galaxy. Well, it's Tesla, aka the uh, cooler version. Then you got Dr. Kara uh, Ker uh, Cersei, aka Doc Cersei, uh, with her uh, knowledge of the hot dogs and the cereal. And the secret company organ, a uh, yeah, secret company assassin, which is a uh, bronze CE. Really love the uh, Jinky's uh, little face. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, damage CE. Damage CE will provide you with one time gut, one HP. Noble Phantasm strength by 5% and MP gain by 5%. It ain't shabby, Noble Knight. Uh, it is 100% damage, MLB's 200. Uh, Cosmos, I could, uh, uh, Co uh, Cosmos Cutterdea High School Academy is going to be a crit up by 10%, arch crit by 15%, charge MP by 50%. So it's essentially, this is the arts version of, um, arts version of the Kindness CE, right? Uh, where, oh no, uh, Mama Raiko, excuse me. Mama Raiko CE where you get crit up, more damage towards Buster crit. This one is more damage towards Arch crit, which is really nice for people who has a good crit comp on top of uh, Noble Phantasming. Uh, ticket drops, MLB plus two, right? Remember, remember. Command codes, you got the Melon Parts Magician. Uh, this one allows you to increase Noble Phantasm damage up by one turn and increase MP, right? MP 
uh, gain by that card by 5%. It's pretty nutty. It's a uh, half contra uh, contradictory, half profitability it really just depends on how you want to put this card you can use this to charge you can use this to attack so it's not bad uh toroya ipos aka the uh the final uh the final large wooden horse uh, allows you to get two stars if you use this co uh, command card simultaneously you are able to remove enemies one attack buff remove one attack buff which is good uh, AKA the uh, uh, Mahatoma, right? The large sized automatic doll. Uh, allow It can only be equipped to arts, so be careful. Once it's equipped to the arts, it has a 50% additional concentration and it does 10% more damage. If you want that crit on 10% and you got no other cards to put but this one, this will help you out. 50% more star suction means that you got a chance to either crit more or crit less right uh, event item tradings you've already seen this i've already told you the event mats odysseus man odysseus got a fucking ascension change look at that my boy dude if there was any other reason to roll for this guy not for his fucking noble phantasm specs the fact that he finally got his armor not gonna lie they're making me roll <laughs> i really want him at least mp1 to get the fucking costume and i might use him practically all day during like caster node it's kind of disgusting i don't know it just looks so good okay a lot of people would agree with me uh and then if you want to see it there you go it's just so good bro It's just so good. Like, you don't even have to see this part because they're all the same, right? But, like, look at that. But look at that, though, right? Like, bro, it's so good. It's, that's, that's mecha. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But, yeah, I'm in love with it. I'm definitely going to roll for him for MP1. So make sure you uh, check out the Twitch, twitch.tv slash to love a trouble for probably a at least MP1 rolling stream. Uh, so worst case scenario, uh, $500 pity. Uh, simultaneously, we got more clothing. Uh, Claudius uh, Nero. Yeah, Nero's got two costume. One's free, um, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Venus Silk is officially free. So you can get this once you cleared Septum. Once you cleared Septum, you can now get Venus Silk for free. If you are a narrow costume fan, it's pretty good. Simultaneously, it's busting out the rose red and a golden goblet, kind of hinting at something that's kind of happening in arcade. However, at the same time, you get another one, which is the Olympian Bloomers, which is nice. So if you like narrow, now is the time for you to come on in. Two free clothing on a narrow. Sheesh. Um, you do need mats. Mats are always located on the corner side of the uh, corner side of the clothing to kind of indicate how what you need in a way. Always QP, but mats are changing different times. Uh, two new servants get strengthening: uh, Nikola Tesla and uh, Thomas Edison. And oh boy, Tesla got some nice hefty update. Uh, Tesla got MP gain up, right? Uh, at the same time, debuff successful rate up for one term, meaning that the possibility of anything that goes, you know, debuffing uh, from your boy succeeds. Here, let me show you uh, what the fandom says it more thoroughly so we can be on that same page, okay? So, uh, now the Tesla Coil Plus A allows you to increase yep, debuff success rate by one turn, increase party MP generation except fell for three turns, which is the first buff, and then increase party's buff success rate by three turns. The buff success rate will definitely allow your uh, natural born genius to low key proc 100%. Therefore, you will get 30% defense, you will get 30% damage, which is really nice. 
And third skill, of course, 50% MP in Vuln Tangane Stars. Delish. So this practically makes him a um, no RNG Archer Servant, which is really good. Uh, of course, you do have to beat the interlude to get this interlude. Uh, Thomas Edison, your boy Tommy. Um, he now uh, fixed his mass production. His charge time is so much cleaner now, which just feels good, man. Uh, lost two charges. Therefore, um, it is eight, I believe, at level 10. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of feels good, man, because he did not deserve this uh, overloading charge. Uh, it's... um turn uh turn star right star per turn at the same time instead of just himself it's everybody gets mp so everybody gets 10 mp per turn uh therefore 50 percent mp at the fifth turn it is 10 at a time but it's kind of spicy that you still can get up to 50 percent if you survive that long and on top of that noble phantasm strength I don't know the Noble Phantasm strength, so we're going to check it out how much it is. I'm assuming it's 20%. Um, if it's 30, that's that's kind of spicy. Kind of big spice. Big fucking spice, I got to say. The mass production, 20%. Yep, as expected. But it's five turns, so it's really, really nice. So if you scuff the fourth turn, you still have the last turn to make up this 20% on it. And you'll get that last 10% charge to see if you can MP. Not bad at all. Thomas Edison definitely became more of a uh, niche support, but a support of mass production nonetheless. At the same time, Nikola Tesla got his battle motion update. Your homie finally got an animation update. Uh, this is it. It's really good. It's worth it. It's nice. Feels good, man. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, his uh, arms uh, has changed from a certain posture, which is nice. Uh, then you got yourself the Battle in New York Summoning Guide, which we are now moving on to. It is a summoning between Odysseus and Tesla. Uh, I believe it's Tesla Edison, uh, Odysseus Nero. Kind of spicy, uh, but boom, as you can see. The story pickups are already there. Uh, this talks about the pity stuff, yada yada yada. Uh, Odysseus, I'm definitely gonna try to get him for sure. Uh, then you got yourself uh, your boy Tesla. They're both good. They're all good. Is it worth it? I mean, he's got a costume that we all wanted, and therefore it's definitely worth the aesthetic looking cool guy. He removes defensive buffs simultaneously. He removes buffs, and he's a rider. AoE art. You can't go wrong. Uh, Nero, I don't have to explain it. She's a cutie. She's a saber face. AoE Umu. All right. <laughs> Thomas Edison. Um, he is a hidden support for sure. Um, Koyanskaya Dark kind of overshadowed him again uh because she is pretty good but um don't underestimate your boy tommy uh craft essence uh, here we go galaxy kuranos that's the five star ce nicholas hamburger which is a gold mat uh it does noble phantasm strength by 15 percent. so noble phantasm strength by 15 mp game by 15 noble phantasm overcharge one time and it drops additional burgers so it is a charge step damage mp gain just exactly your boy nikola uh, nikola tesla needs uh doc qk on aka doc cersei doc cersei allows you to have a uh, debuff nullification one time so null debuff aka can get buffed one uh debuffed one time uh increase art card performance by five percent and buster by five percent it drops a uh, galaxy hot dog you know the classic by the way if you look at the very far corner of the ce you can see white bear uh, then you got your three star uh friend point gotcha bull secret organization or aka secret company uh assassin uh this one is a uh gain two quick card damage per turn uh not per turn get two percent more damage to your quick mp gain by three uh, gain star one per turn. 
uh, drops potatoes. Now, do understand MLB would spice this shit up uh, tremendously a couple more times. Uh, so don't forget the spaghetti. And uh, yeah, like it's really good. It's really nice. These battle motions are fantastic. These no, um, these costume is fantastic. These upgrades are fantastic. Uh, right now it's lotto time. So make sure you guys lotto as hard as you can. Uh, make sure you guys count your apples, count your, you know, count your thingies and count all what you can do. Uh, but remember, it is a lotto and I'm not going to lie to you. These are pretty good mats to fucking go balls deep in. Uh, if you're going nat AP, uh, 90 plus node, I, I think everybody can mostly do 90 plus node. If you have a friend, um, you don't have to three turn it. Pretty sure you can do 90 plus and natural AP yourself to um, full uh, full shop clear. However, I do still recommend doing all the node at least once to get them free apples. You'll be on. You're gonna be surprised. The power of free apples is insane. But I know I've been rambling for five million years. This is the long version of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next VOD. Have fun lottering, and I'll see you on Twitch, twitch.tv slash uh, I'll see you guys there. Bye.